I'm Doug Beekler. I'm from Linton, North Dakota. I own and operate a seed stock, Simmental and Red Angus business, and uh, we run about 225 cows. We uh, also started growing kids recently. Uh, we welcomed our first daughter a couple months ago, and uh, we're super excited about that as well. My grandfather homesteaded this farm in 1920, and I'm the third generation here. My father, who is also the youngest, of 14 actually took over this farm and I'm the youngest of eight and I, I guess I followed in his footsteps and, and took the farm over a few years ago. My environment growing up just fostered that love of animals and being a rancher is what I've always wanted to do. On the evening of June 26th, which started out as just another day um, servicing the baler and getting ready to go bale some alfalfa hay, I guess some things went kind of terribly wrong that evening for me and I found myself trapped in the baler. Um, I did have the door open, I was greasing the chains and, and just servicing the baler and I had the baler running because um, I wanted to get the chains greased well before we went out for the first time and I saw something drop off of a roller and I went to grab it and the belt actually pulled me in and so I was stuck in the baler for about 45 minutes um, until I just realized that nobody was going to come. Everyone that I thought may come and help me was busy or tied up and I just decided I needed to get out and so I was able to free myself pretty miraculously and was able to get to the house and call for help and the rest is history. Recovery has been going very well. It's obviously been a, a very long summer and uh, you know you add the drought on top of it and it's been quite a challenge. It's such a quick thing and it can really happen to anyone. You just always have to be aware of your surroundings and, and what's going on and I am having to relearn a lot of things. Obviously when you go from two hands to one it's a little interesting. The silver lining for me is that I'm actually left-handed and so I still have my dominant hand and so that has helped me out immensely. Just simple things like, you know, try to put on your socks one-handed. It's not very easy. Zippers. Zippers are not an easy thing but you learn to adapt and I think the important thing is just staying positive and being patient with yourself when you're learning new ways to do things. I've just been fortunate enough to have been blessed with the family and the friends that I have and, and now Farm Rescue and their program to help get some hay just to ensure that I can keep doing what I love to do and uh, make sure that I can sustain my cow herd throughout the winter. We've had friends and, and you know some neighbors that have benefited from Farm Rescue and so we knew about the program and my brother actually made the contact on my behalf to get some hay uh, when we found out that Farm Rescue was hauling donated loads of hay to producers in need. It was a very easy process and it wasn't something that took a lot of time or a lot of paperwork. Everyone was polite to visit with and it was just a really positive experience for us. I just didn't realize the scale that it had grown to. 500 operations to help out is, that's a pretty grand scale when you consider the work that, that Farm Rescue does and just helping families in need. And I guess I was honored to be the 500th case. It's kind of a, a special thing and it was just nice to hear that they've helped so many. It means more than just saying thank you. These cows are my future. And so for me to keep doing what I love and keep you know my way of life, I can't really express it into words. It's a lot deeper than just keeping your cows. It means a lot more to me than that. And I think there's a lot of producers out there that would wholeheartedly agree that it's more than just a load of hay. Just because I'm injured doesn't mean that I'm just gonna give up or that you know I, I need to let go of my dreams and, and my aspirations. Farm Rescue just bridges the gap between the time of your injury and the time of your healing and just gives them some hope and, and some optimism to keep going and, and to recover and to get back doing what they love to do. And it's just been a great program for myself and for all of those that I know have been involved. It's just such a great cause to donate to. And I think that you know the sponsors that are watching or if they're considering being a sponsor, you can be assured that your dollars are going to go to something that is just truly a great thing and, and just really helps people. They're providing this service that no one else can provide and I think that it's a very rewarding opportunity for anyone that's considering to volunteer. So if you have the time and if you have any skills that you feel that you can offer, I would highly, highly recommend looking into the Farm Rescue program. And I just want to say thank you to Farm Rescue, thank you to all the volunteers, thank you to all the sponsors. It just wouldn't be possible without all of these people coming together and helping and I know that I speak on behalf of the other 499 cases when I just say thank you for all the work that you've done.